So you can't see these things with your naked eye. You know, they've got to be viewed through a microscope. Um, if I could describe to you what they look like, <laughs> they look like little tick slash spiders. <laughs> They're actually really creepy looking. Uh, honestly, if they were big enough to see with the, uh, with the naked eye and I saw one crawling around on my floor, I'd burn my f***ing house down. Ah! All right, guys. So I'm making this video because of my personal experience with allergies, especially this allergy that I'm talking about because I didn't even really know it was a thing. I didn't even know I had it until I had an allergy panel and it's wreaked absolute havoc on my life. And the thing is, this is a very common allergy. And furthermore, this allergy can be found pretty much anywhere you go, no matter where you live, what elevation, what state, geographical location, you are gonna find this allergy everywhere you go. You can minimize it, you can take preventative measures, you can take antihistamines to help you deal with it, but it's still gonna be there. So the better you manage it, the better off you are. But anyway, the allergy that I'm talking about are dust mites. And a dust mite allergy can range from pretty much no symptoms at all, uh, up to maybe like a slight cough, all the way up to a hospital visit. And I'm making this video again because of my personal experience because dust mite allergies have done pretty wild things to my health. In fact, a lot of the problems that I've discussed on this channel previously could potentially be tracked down to a simple allergy which obviously is not as simple as it sounds, otherwise I wouldn't be having all these problems. Now, the way the dust mite allergy works for me, uh, it has either caused or triggers asthma symptoms. It keeps my nose constantly clogged. But of course, having the chronic sinusitis, you know, that makes it hard to breathe through my nose. If I'm having an asthma flare up, uh, it's hard to even breathe through my mouth. So I end up having to, you know, deal with that in a different way. Uh, another thing I just found out recently, because today I went to the doctor to, uh, find out why I'm always so fatigued and why I'm dizzy because I've been having um, dizzy spells. Uh, not so much like things are spinning, but uh, more like I'm off balance. Um, kind of like I don't trust anymore if I see a wall and I decide I'm gonna go and lean against it. It just feels like I'm gonna fall or lose my balance. Well, quick look in my ears today. Hey, you have fluid in your ears. Great. And before we go to, you know, bigger steps to try to remove the fluid, such as like getting tubes in the ears, because my dad had tubes in his ears, my nephew had tubes in his ears. You know, he said before that, the first thing they're gonna try is they're gonna try like a really strong allergy medicine, uh, antihistamine, to try to dry you up. So I got a prescription for an antihistamine to try today, to try to dry that fluid up, but that explains my balance issues. But what have dust mite allergies done for me? They've clogged up my nose, made it hard to breathe through my nose. They've caused me asthma, which is making it hard to just breathe at all. Of course, when your sinuses are clogged, you have the black or the, you know, the dark circles under the eyes, but when you're getting a lot of sleep and stuff, and it's definitely not because you're lacking sleep. Um, I've, I've actually had these dark circles under my eyes for several years and never even knew what it was and apparently that can be a symptom of your sinuses being clogged in behind right here and now it's causing me issues with just feeling like i can't stand up and uh extreme fatigue and i wish i would have known all this stuff years ago uh even before i started talking about all this on the channel because you know i was very anxious about all these things my doctors you know obviously saw that they were like well, this guy's really anxious and instead of trying to get to the bottom of my symptoms they were just like this guy needs treated for anxiety. So I yeah, I don't want to blame my doctors because obviously, yes, I was freaked out over not knowing what was going on, but it put off me actually getting the treatment that I needed to where I wouldn't have made 15, 20, 20, 30 videos, you know, about anxiety and how it's pretty much just destroyed my life because it wasn't anxiety destroying my life. So anyway, if you suspect any type of like an allergy or if you just feel off and you're not really sure why and you can't really attribute it to anything else, start taking like a like an inventory, maybe like a mental inventory of your day and your physical symptoms that you might not even normally pay attention to. And maybe it's time to go get allergy tested to see if there's something in the air that's affecting just everything that's going on with you. While you're taking this inventory, you might realize, hey, you know, like maybe once every hour or a couple of hours or something, I just felt the need to, to clear my throat, you know, or cough. And I'm not really sure why, because I don't have emphysema, I've never smoked, you know, or just whatever your situation is, uh, you know, 
having like a chronic cough that you don't really pay attention to because it doesn't bother you that much could be a signal that you have an allergy. So yeah, if you have, if you cannot come up with an explanation for why you just kind of feel bad all the time, go get an allergy panel done and uh, be prepared to burn your house down too. Uh, if it, if you do find out that uh, dust mites are a problem for you because they're just hard to get rid of. All right, that's it for this video. And uh, this was also just kind of my way of saying, hey guys, sorry I haven't posted anything in a long time. I've just felt like crap and I'm working on finding out why. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching this one. If you made it this far, as I always say, comment down below and say, hey, I made it this far. Bye-bye.